Daylight saving time ended this weekend and you may feel refreshed after gaining an extra hour of sleep or maybe you don't. Studies show a negative impact on your heart health and every time the time changes it may actually shorten your lifespan. Our Sally Hernandez talked to a cardiologist for an in-depth look at why he and other heart doctors say we should get rid of the daylight saving time for good. Dr. Wang, we're talking about daylight saving time, how it's ending or ended already. What can you tell us as far as the impact it has on your heart? Well, you know, uh, most of us, myself included, we love to fall back and having that extra time to play and sleep is like adding an extra hour to our lives. But many of us don't realize that it, the opposite is actually true. We may actually be shortening our lives each time we change that clock. And the reason for that is that changing your behavior by one hour puts it out of phase with your natural circadian rhythm. And that kind of dissonance actually stresses the body, it disrupts your sleep. It causes you to release stress hormones that can raise your blood pressure, your heart rate, uh, increased harmful inflammation uh, throughout your body. And many studies have linked this now with dangerous outcomes like increased depression, increased car accidents and ER visits, and importantly, a greater risk of strokes and heart attacks. And so uh, the American Academy of Sleep Medicine has advocated for the elimination of daylight savings time to eliminate these harms. And as a doctor and a member of the Academy, I couldn't agree more. Wow, Dr. Wang, um, some of the studies that you pointed out are showing that stroke does end when it comes to daylight saving time it ending. And it's the most, um, it's a very serious stroke as well, right? Right. Many of these strokes are pretty disabling. Uh, sometimes they can leave you blind or mute or paralyzed. Um, and any of these things can really compromise quality of life in a very serious way. So if we cannot change daylight saving time, what can we do, would you say, as a heart doctor to maybe lower our risk? But I would definitely mark my calendar for March of next year when it's time for spring forward and maybe start a week ahead of time so you can change it 10 minutes at a time instead of 60 minutes all at once. And then it's, of course, always important to try to maintain good sleep hygiene. So important. Dr. Wang, thank you so much for joining us today.